Take a look for regular screenshot tools for Windows 10 and you may be a little bit uninspired. Nothing comes with the platform and you may find the guidance is telling you to install third-party tools. But what about using Power Automate Desktop? It's free with Windows 10 and you can throw the tool together in just a couple of minutes by following this video. Let's get started. Okay, so as is usually the way, we click New Flow, give it a reasonable name, like Regular Screen Capture, Create. So there we have our Test Flow. Spends a few seconds getting things ready. And here we have our palette. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is a loop. So let's just get a loop on here. As you can see, we've got lots of actions available to us on the left. Uh, there are so many, in fact, that it's good to just search for them. So we drag a loop onto the palette. Start at one. Let's say we're going to capture a oh, hundred screen captures and we go through them one by one. So this loop is the basis of our work. Then the next thing, we can do a search for a weight because we're going to want to do a screen capture every few seconds. Let's call it 10 seconds. You could make that whatever you want, and you could even have a dialog box specifying at the start if you want to get fancy. Okay, and the next one, I'm just going to name these files with a timestamp so we know exactly what they are. So there we go. We're going to get the system timestamp. Um, unfortunately, though, the system timestamp has lots of nasty characters which file names don't really like, so I'm going to have to do a replace text on that value that I just got just to get rid of the nasty characters. So here we are, I'll choose the variable which came from that last step. And I have to do something clever here to avoid doing multiple replace texts. I'm actually gonna use this regex. And I'm not a genius, I just uh, Googled which one of these uh, would work for getting rid of nasty characters in the time step. Okay, and then the next thing, of course, we want to do the actual screenshot. So here we are, I'll drag that onto the palette again. I am going to want to get the primary screen. If you've got multiple monitors, this can be a bit tricky, so I'll experiment a little bit. I'm going to want to write that to file, and I'm going to want JPEGs, and I'm going to name these from that replace text step, which I just did. So just paste in the file path. And then I'm just going to put the file name bit on the end, which is the variable from the replace text. And it's going to be a .jpg, JPG. Sorry. Okay, save that. So we're in pretty good shape already. Now we're going to want to save this. And then we'll give it a bit of a run, see it in action. Okay, let's give it a run. So you can see it waited for the 10 seconds and then it went through. You can actually see it as it goes through the steps. So I'm just gonna move the things around so that you can see that my screen has actually changed. You don't actually have to see uh, the pad designer here, it could be in the background, just to say, but it is nice to see it running through like this to give us a sense of progress. Stop that one, I think that's enough of a test. Let's have a look, and there we go, those are the screenshots which it's just taken. Uh, let's just uh, have a bit of a look at them. And yes, that suddenly looks like a screenshot to me. Remember, we could have taken a hundred of these, but it would have been a really long video if we'd done that. Okay, I think we have success. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to see me cover any other topics, leave a comment down below.